All right, people at home. So here's what we've been doing so far. So um, I've got a paper set up that looks like this. Today we're learning about frequency polygons, relative frequency histograms, and ogives. This might this will probably take us two days. And the questions that we've got here. So at the top it says 2.1 frequency polygons, relative frequency histograms, and ogives. And make sure that you. Um, have this down so if you need to pause the video right now so you can see everything then do it after every single one the question that we're asking is what does it look like what's the x-axis what's the y-axis and what do we need to remember so I just set up my thing to look like that just put them next to each other down here because I ran out of room and then on graph paper we're going to have three different examples that we're going to do in just a minute. Um, one for a frequency polygon, one for a relative frequency polygon, and one for, oops, it should be relative frequency histogram. What? Yeah, it doesn't really matter what order they're in, but you're right. I do normally put it there. My bad. Um, and an ogive uh, is the last one. And then here we've got um, space to get all of our data. And so we asked, how many times have you been to the ER? And this was our number. So pause anytime you want to. Right now what the kids are doing behind me is they are um, uh, filling out this grid. So go ahead and do this yourself and then skip this time period where we are waiting for everybody to finish. You'll know that we're moving ahead again when you start seeing my pen move. Yeah. <coughs> you guys done? Would you rinse out my coffee cup for me? Emma, were you planning on coming tonight? To the read-through? So, Mr. Kinsler let me know that he is able to come tonight. And he was hoping to talk to you guys through how to rebuild. Um, he wants to rebuild, completely rebuild the black screen. To actually fit what we have. Oh, really cool. Yeah, I can uh, be here at 6. Oh, yeah, it's 6 to 8 tonight. Okay. I'm going to need like five crew members, so I'm guessing Crystal will come too, and then if you guys could find three more people that are willing to come. Alex is going to, Alex and Colin will be with me if Colin comes. I don't know if he's sick or what. Um, but Alex will be with me because uh, he'll be doing acting. But I think Alex and Colin are the only, and Alex, Colin, and Nathan are the only people you have that are actors on your crew. All right, I think I'm going to probably start doing this myself just so you can check your work as you go. I know you guys aren't done yet. Thank you. Okay, so uh, Crystal, are you planning on coming tonight to the read-through? 
Cool. Um, because uh, Mr. Kinsler said that he would like to come tonight while we're doing the read through and show some of the crew. Um, apparently, we're going to rebuild those black screens from scratch, like completely redo the frame so it fits what it is. So, also, he might help, you know, fix the walls. I don't know how well those were put together or not. So, we'll find out. Um, and if you and um, Emma can find like another like three or four people that'd be willing to come from the crew, that'd be great. Okay. So the first thing you should have done is you should have done 10 minus 0, right, which is 10, and then divided by 4. How do you know that there are four classes? Because there's four of these. Okay. So what, 10 divided by 4 is 2 and a half, which right, raises up to 3. So we're going to start here. 0 plus 3 is 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9. Did you guys do it the right way? No? Or yes? Okay. You made this now noise. Mm. That really could be any either, right? I mean, like that's, that's right in the middle. That plus three is eleven. All right, tallies. We should have had one, two, one, zero, one, two, four, ten, eight. You guys get the same thing I did. These add up to. Um, 9, which is exactly what we have. Let's see, 3 ninths is 0 0.33, 0 0.33, 2 ninths is 0 0.22, 0 0.11, which adds up to what, 0.99? Pretty close. Uh, midpoint, halfway between 0 and 2 is 1, 4, 7, 10. And cumulative frequency is adding up as you go, so we start with 3, then add 3 to get to 6, add another 2 to get to 8, add another 1 to get to 9. Do you guys have the same thing I do? Okay, anybody have any questions about that? You good? Okay. All right, we're going to start um, with a relative frequency histogram. I know it's not the first one on our list, but it is the easiest one. It is exactly like um, the frequency histogram of yesterday. Now, we're actually going to concentrate on using the graph paper we have. Don't just draw on it and refuse to stay on the lines when you're making a graph. It should look good. <coughs> I'm going to put a break like I always do, and then we've got, what, four columns that are going up this time. But instead of, a relative fre instead of a frequency histogram, this is a relative frequency histogram. So does anybody want to guess for a prize what the only difference is between this and a frequency histogram is? Oh, Andon is one, Emma is two. I mean, we've got to be fair, right? Mm 